So what is template method pattern? Basically allow us to define the skeleton of an algorithm in the superclass, but let's the superclasses override the specific steps of the algorithm without changing its structure. Here you can see I got this image from this link here, and you can see that this is a superclass, and you can see that it's a skeleton of algorithm. So you can see we have number one, number two, number three, but we haven't defined what to do with those steps, but we basically let the subclasses, right? So you can see these are subclasses, override these steps of the algorithm without changing the structure. So you can see we still have one, we still have two, we still have three, but each subclasses might have different behaviors, right? Might have different purpose for each step of the algorithms. Now to understand template method pattern, let me show you the problem in code. So here you can see I have transfer money task and also generate report task. And I also have another class called auto log. Now here you can see we have two tasks and for each of those tasks in the execute function, right? So both of them have an execute function. And here you can see we basically have to record, in this case, we're calling the record function from the auto log. And then we're trying to log the data before we execute the task. Same thing for generate report task as well. Now you can see here that there's a problem with this code. And the problem is that we have a code duplication. So the reason why we have code duplication is because you can see here, we have to call this record function before we execute the task. And if I have to create a new task, for example, let's say in the future, if I want to create a task like generate, or for example, refund money task, then I also have to basically call this function before I execute the task. So in this case, you can see that will be one of the problem. And the other one is that there's no code structure or there's no rule because here you can see if I forgot to Let's say if I create a new class called refund a task, then I have to remind myself that I have to call this record task before I execute something else. Now to solve our problem or to refactor our code, one way we can do it is we can implement the strategy pattern. And here basically what we can do is that we can have an interface called task, which has a execute function. And these classes will basically implement this interface and implement the execute function. And what we can do for our execute function, we basically take a task and this task is a interface task. And we can just log the data inside of this function. And we also call the execute function inside of the task because the task is a type task so that we know that this task has a execute function that we can call inside of the main function here, right? So that's one way we can solve it. Now, the other way we can solve this problem is to use template method pattern. And here you can see we have a abstract class called task. And inside of this class, we have a method called execute. And inside of this function, you can see we first log the data and then we call the do execute function. And this do execute function is a abstract method inside of the task class. And you can see that what we can do is that any subclasses that inherit from the task class can be able to implement their own do execute function. And you can see, for example, transfer money can have its own do execute function purpose, right? For example, transfer money or whatever and for generate report, its subclass can also implement the do execute function or related to generate report. So let me show you this in code. So to implement the template method pattern, here is what I have, or here's my implementation on the right. And this is the previous code, the code that I demonstrated before that we need to refactor. And here you can see on the right, I basically have abstract class called task. And inside of this task class, I have a execute function, which basically first record the data, right? Or log the data. And then I basically do execute. And this do execute function is an abstract method. We can be able to override this right in the subclass and it's also protected so that users is not able to call this function outside of this class. So you can see here that for the subclass, we have generate report task. And you can see here, we basically inherit from the task class and we override the do execute function based on the current task purpose. For example, we're trying to generate reports. So we will basically do something here related to generate reports. And you can see that this is going to be protected so that users were not able to call this function. They should be able to call the execute function, not the do execute outside of this current subclass. Class. And you can see here, we also have our transfer money task as well. We are also trying to override this do execute function related to the current task purpose. And then we're basically set it to protect it as well. Now to summarize everything, here is the structure for the template method pattern. And here you can see we have our abstract class, which contains this template method, which is going to be public available if there's a subclass that inherit from this abstract class. And we can be able to call this template method outside of the subclass. And we also have two abstract method, for example, primitive operation one and primitive operation two. And you can see that we can have a subclass which inherited from this abstract class. And we can be able to overwrite these primitive operations. And here you can see this is the structure for the template method pattern.